Welcome to our next video lesson, which is entitled Mixing Matter. Okay, now let us first have a review. What is a matter? Ano ang matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. So, meron tayong three classifications ng matter, di ba? Ito yung solid, liquid, and gas. At bawat classification ay may, may kanya-kanyang properties and characteristics. Okay? As you can see in this picture, ang, ang dinescribe dito ay yung kanilang molecules. Yung solid materials have compact, very compact molecules o yung dikit-dikit, di ba? While yung solid, um, far apart lang naman sila. And then, yung gas ay very loose talaga. Nakita nyo yung kanilang molecules. And then, what is a mixture? Ano ba yung mixture? Mixture is a combination of two or more substances. Ayan, pag sinabi natin combination, ito yung pinaghalo-halong um, substances. Tingnan nyo yung sa picture. Meron tayong mixer. And then, yung dito ay marami tayong substances. Nandiyan yung meat, nandiyan yung garlic, nandiyan yung onions, di ba? may pepper, and other materials pa. Okay? When we combine these substances, or when we combine two or more substances, it is called mixture. So, sa matter, pwede tayong gumawa ng mixture. Okay? Depende rin sa ating uh, classifications. This video lesson will focus only on the solid liquid mixture. Okay? So, sabi ko sa inyo, di ba, meron tayong tatlong classification of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. This time, ang focus natin ay solid and liquid mixture lamang. Okay? The solid-liquid mixture is a combination of solid and liquid materials. Of course, from the title itself, combination lang siya ng solid at saka ng liquid materials. Okay? So, let's say this one, the sugar and the water. Sugar is the solid while the water is the liquid. So, when we combine these two, ang tawag na doon ay solid-liquid mixture. Ayan. Solid materials like powder, detergent, coffee, powdered milk, and powder juice also dissolve in water. Some solid materials dissolve in the liquid and stay within, but some do not dissolve. So, yung ibang solid materials, humahalo sila sa liquid, pero yung iba naman, nag stay lang sila doon sa mismong mixture, pero yung iba, hindi rin sila nadidissolve. Okay. Now, let's have first an activity. Okay, this activity one, what to know, ano yung malalaman natin sa activity na to? What happens to the solid materials when mixed with liquid materials? Anong mangyayari doon sa mga solid materials kapag hinalo natin sila sa liquid materials? Ano yung mga materials na gagamitin natin dito sa activity 1? 6 cups of glasses, spoon, salt, flour, pepper, and betsin, sand, ginger, water, vinegar, and soy sauce. Now, here's the procedure. Number 1, prepare the materials. Number 2, Label each cups with A, B, C, D, E, and F. So, remember, we have six cups. Diba? You need to label those cups with these letters. And then, number three, half fill the cups with the following. Lagyan nyo daw ng, ng yung mga cups, lagyan nyo ng mga ito. Half lang, kalahati lang. Cup A, water. Cup B, water. Cup C, cooking oil. Cup D, vinegar. Cup E, soy sauce, and the cup F, water olet. And then the number four, put tablespoon of the following in the cups. So, maglalagay tayo ng, ng mga ito sa mga cups. 
Sa cup A, ang ilalagay natin ay tablespoon of salt. Cup B, sand. Cup C, pepper. Cup D, vetsin. Cup E, ginger. And cup F, flour. Here are the materials on the activity. Observe the video and take note what will happen on the following materials. The salt and the water. the sand and the water the oil and the pepper The vinegar and the uh, pechin. Ginger and soy sauce. The flour mixed with water. Here is our mixture of salt and water. The sand and the water. The sand makes the water cloudy and it stayed at the bottom. The pepper and the cooking oil. Nagstay lang yung pepper sa bottom. The vetsin and the vinegar. Hindi na natin makita yung vetsin. Nag-dissolve na yung vetsin sa vinegar. The ginger and the soy sauce. And the last one, the flour and the water. Nag-dissolve yung flour sa water.
Now, let's answer this. Complete the table by checking the column based on your observation. So, here are our materials. Number one, salt and water. Number two, sand and water. Three, pepper and cooking oil. Four, vetsin and vinegar. Five, ginger and soy sauce. Flour and water para sa ating number six. Now, you will identify if these materials dissolves in liquid, does not dissolve in liquid, settles at the bottom, ninagstay siya sa, sa ilalim, and then makes the liquid cloudy. So, you need to answer it in your module. In the letter B, give other examples of solid materials when mixed with liquids will number one dissolve completely number two not dissolve completely number three settle at the bottom number four make the liquid cloudy so you need to give other examples aside from those examples listed so write it in your answer sheet and your module So, our key concept for this video lesson is Some solid materials, when mixed with liquid materials, dissolve completely. Totally, nadi-dissolve na yung ating solid materials. ba? Make the liquid cloudy or settle at the bottom. Yung nag stay siya doon sa ilalim lang ng mixture. Sa ilalim or sa baba. So that's all for our video lesson. Abangan yung susunod na video. Please do like, share, and subscribe our channel para makapagawa pa tayo ng iba't ibang video lessons tulad nito. So yun lang. Enjoy! Happy learning!